Texas is number one in hot car infant deaths. I just say facts is comedy. <laughs> Let's do some crowd work, shall we, crowd work? Uh, what's your favorite of all, if you had to just pick only one, you just had to only pick one of all the genocides, what's your favorite genocide? Uh, Armenian comes to mind. Armenian, everyone loves the Armenian genocide because no one wants to say the blacks and the Jews. <laughs> it's frowned on. I saw Rachel Dolezal's document. Well, I saw that Rachel Dolezal has a documentary on Netflix before my account expired. And I just think it's fascinating. People are so upset about her ethnic disambiguation that they don't care that she abuses children. It's not even important. And it made me realize if you need, if you really need to hurt a child, abuse a black baby. Abuse a black baby today. Uncle Sam wants you. You can do whatever you want. These are all real news stories. You could lock them in a closet, drive them off a cliff. You could starve them, give them a gun, and tell them to run around. You could shoot them. Do whatever you want. Abuse a black baby. All right. Am I in blackface? I've been worried recently like I'm in blackface and no one told me. And that would be offensive. People say Al Jolson is the greatest menstrual show of all time. I don't agree. Robert Downey Jr. is number two. Best blackface of all time. Number one has to go to Judy Garland. Judy Garland did the best blackface. Yeah, she was okay in The Wizard. Judy Garland did the best blackface that anyone's ever done, and I will fight anyone who disagrees with me. Joseph can take third at best. The good thing about the race wars is at least you know who your team is. A lot of people don't like seeing um, ugly guys with beautiful women. You know, a lot of people, they get upset when they see just hideous dudes with gorgeous ladies. But I like knowing where the cocaine is. I like it. <laughs> I enjoy it. My whole life I've been hearing about um, this joke about the guy that walks into the bar. But this week I met him at Maggie McGarry's and he tried to fight me. He's not a very nice guy. He was a little drunk. Turns out the guy's drunk. Actually, I was talking to him and he was like, I feel like I'm the joke here. And I was like, are you the premise or the punchline? And he went, I don't know. And then he punched me in the hip. So I guess the punchline is right here. It's subtle crotch-related humor is what I'm known for. Black actors never get to play Nazis, that's racism. <laughs> when I was little, um, my mother would tuck me in and then she'd go to leave. And I would interrupt her like, Mom, what do girls have? I forget. She would turn off the lights. Vagina, son. Vagina. You know, I've heard a lot of people say pizza's like sex. They're like, pizza's like sex. By the way, Arjun, that was a great set. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. They're like, pizza's like sex, because even a bad pizza is pretty good. I don't like pizza that much, and I think those people have forgotten rape. That is the most delicious rape joke you're ever going to hear in your fucking life. If you can find a more delicious rape joke, I will... Give me your money back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Drop the mic.